balance sheet, um, which is where the, the biggest improvement came as the stock is the rationalising of our stock. A lot of work's gone into to cleaning it up, working out what of the stock works, in which area, and how much needs to be there to make sure that we get the, the best outcome of, of the investment made into stock. Um, we really put, took the approach of putting a lot of stock in uh, that we thought would work, uh, and some of it worked, some of it didn't. The, the parts that didn't work, we know what they are. We've, we've uh, taken the pain of moving them out again, and we now have gotten to a system where we replenish the good moving or fast moving stocks um, well. And uh, we moved our stock level down from, from 450 down to 350 over six months. The local mills uh, have let us down over the last six months and uh, we need to make sure that we don't let our customers down. So we'll probably uh, bulk our sales up um, in having more of the right stock. So we expect to push that stock level up to about 400 million um, and then and with that would probably come of a, an improved in profitability as well because we will make sure we've got the right stock. We know what moves now and we know in which areas. Um, opening up the new express branches, opening up the new new African operations, you're always going into a new market, learning new things about that that particular industry, what they do take and what they don't take. So that now we can say that we're well on our, our way to understanding those markets and with this six to nine months consolidation period, if you call it that, um, we can focus on what we do right and uh, it, it should all fall through to the bottom line. We, we're optimistic on it. We think we've done all the right things at the right time and in really a very controlled environment, although some people might look at the numbers and, and think otherwise. Um, but we, we believe we've done it in, in probably an easier time to, to grow than, than a prosperous time. Um, our customers are, are out there looking to chisel everything they can to, to survive and with that they look at the supplier of steel and, and that's where we come to the party with, with a better solution for them. So long as we, as things turn and things start getting uh, more favourable for us, we need to make sure we hold on to our customers that we've now obtained. So we, we are a lot more bullish than probably uh, most steel guys out there, um, but we, we satisfied that we're going in the right direction. So we, we believe our cash flow is, it was tight as we, we did the big growth drive, but we'll, the next six months to 12 months, we'll, we'll put profits back into the bank and uh, be ready for, for more growth again.